on bar type transformer it is a similar to the uh, wound type transformer similarly this type of current transformer uses the actual cable or bus bars of main circuit as a primary winding which is equivalent to single turn only a single turn they are fully insulated from high volt high operating voltage of system and usually bolted to a current carrying device so these are the simple uh, types of uh, transformers you can see in a uh, 30 up to 33 kV voltage level in the metal clad switchgear applications you can see these types of transformers but in our substation we are mostly for having these types of transformers a conventional transformer uh, here uh, if you are having a two types of transformers uh, classification uh, one is a live tank current transformer other one is a dead tank current transformer this is a very important thing you need to know uh, this uh, live tank transformer live tank current transformer you can see the uh, the tank means the oil tank uh, which is near to the live portion and dead tank uh, is the tank which is away from the live portion that is a dead tank city live tank so if you see in this figure this is a live tank city the tank is uh, connected to the live this is the line which is connecting uh, here so the tank is on the top it's a live tank if the tank is at the bottom that is a dead tank city so what are the benefits of live tank city and what are the benefits of dead tank city first let's see the dead tank city uh, advantages of dead tank city is because it is it was placed at down uh, here the insulator stack will be on this so it is having low center of gravity high atropic resistive because of good center of gravity in this and uh, using heavy cores without stressing the porcelain insulators the porcelain insulators will not feel any stress because there is a no much load on this the tank itself is acting as a support for whole the thing and what is the main disadvantage is now the primary conductor has to come from here to here this primary conductor is carrying 400 amps to carry a 400 amps of conduct 400 amps of current see uh, think how big conductor uh, area of cross section of this uh, conductor material you required just to recall our conductors uh, class see how much conductor it is how much uh, cross sectional uh, material you required here that is a big disadvantage here and again limitation of short circuit currents if you come to the live current tank ct the short this is a primary conductor is very short only this so the conductor cost will be low primary conductor with low thermal losses and high rated current and short short time current what is the disadvantage so it is placed on the insulator stack having a high uh, center of gravity so cannot be withstand for earthquake zone areas uh, which zones are particularly on earth, uh, related earthquakes and large core volume stresses the this it, it, this tank is on the top of the insulator stack so obviously this insulator stack will get stresses by this tank placed on it so this is the disadvantage of live tanks most cases in all the cases mostly we are using live tank city because we are much more concentrating on high rated currents and short time current these are the installation kind of thing earthquake not much uh, it's a limited to some zones and uh, core volume stresses on the insulator uh, we, were, we are choosing obviously good cantilever strength of the insulator to uh, to maintain uh, <coughs> this so most of the projects we are uh, most of, in the most of the projects uh, they they are uh, having the live tank cities so this is about the just a classification of cities what is the two different cities uh, in the uh, uh, substation so now if you ask you what type of city you require if your city is much uh, or uh, if your project is under in earthquake zone you will you will choose dead tank city otherwise it's a live tank city so this is the conclusion up to here now our conclusion our our actual sizing of the CT will starts. The current transformer, again, I specified before, the current transformer oper the current transformer should do two operations. One is metering, one is the protection. 
one is for the metering one is for the protection now you can ask that uh, so this can, can we use the protection ct for the metering and metering ct for protection yes you can use but again some constraints are there you have to overcome or you have to fulfill those things before uh, placing the uh, that means you have to check some conditions whether this ct can be used for this application or not so how can you know that so what are the actual parameters that influencing on the ct saturation which is the main important point to discuss in all our next uh, next uh, slides ct saturation i uh, will talk in next slides so for the time being the current transformer should be uh, should work for two things one is for the measuring one is for the protection so let's go to the uh, i guess excel sheet uh, where i will show you some uh, examples to you team uh, till now uh, fine any any doubts till now everything clear so basic understanding of ct shall i proceed yeah thanks cool so uh, today nearly four or five members not joined okay maybe two or messages they are outside of the station uh, they are moving uh, uh, let's uh, okay they said that they will go with the recordings okay fine uh, so let's see this uh, as i said we are having two cities one is the metering, other one is the protection. These are the two applications I require. Now, let's talk about the CT thing. CT, what is CT having two windings? One is the primary winding, other one is the secondary winding. The primary current is depends upon our application. In our case, the application is 400 amps. So, what is your secondary current required? So, secondary current uh, generally in before uh, in in our olden day cities we are having five amps, two amps. But now most of the most on the cases the secondary current is limited to one amp. One amp. So, I required. So, let's assume I am having. A, this is 33 kV feeder, which is feeding from wind, uh, wind power plant, wind uh, fans, or solar, whatever it may be. So the CT here I am choosing. What is the functionality of the CT? The CT has to do protection, and the CT has to do metering. This is the two requirements of the CT. One is for protection, one is for the metering. Now again, my question is, what is the protection you are adopting here? One is the overcurrent protection, generally a normal protection, and other protections are unit type of protections that we are discussing in our next protection and control chapter. Unit type of protections like differential protection, distance protection, this. These are the unit type of protections. So our overcurrent protection or unit protection uh, and a metering, three more, total three. So the CT, I am having, so I am selecting, uh, the rated current is 400 amps. So I required one amp uh, on my secondary side. Okay, what it mean? It means that if 400 amps is flowing in your primary current, the CT will sense one amp, will give one amp in the secondary if it is a ideal CT without any losses, without any losses ideal CT and if suppose at 200 amps is flowing the primary current is 0.5 amps if 800 amps is flowing the primary current is 2 amps so this is the behavior of the ideal CT without any ratio error 
or phase angle lateral. But none of the CT, most of the CT, none of the CTs uh, are this. So now you have to ask that manufacturer how much error is is uh, acceptable for you? How much error is acceptable for you? Error acceptable for you in other terminology, I am asking in a way that accuracy of my CT. What is the accuracy of my CT? Of my CT in the sense, the transformation of the current. 